All right, so uh, victory people, this is what we're gonna show today, is how, uh, what in my opinion, is the best tie in wrestling and stand up for jujitsu, which is an underhook and an inside tie. So underhook inside tie um, is so dominant that this guy cannot do anything except run away. There's no offense from him having, me having an underhook inside tie on him. All right, so we're just gonna go over in this video what the position is. So in this position, I'm not gonna have an underhook and be out to the side like this, all right? My underhook, I'm gonna be facing him. My body's gonna be turned a little bit. My shoulder's gonna be right in his sternum, like this. So if you notice, right, my body's turned, my shoulder is in his sternum. His head is on the same side as the underhook, right? My underhook is narrow and I'm just touching his back. It's not up here, it's just like this. My elbow is retracted, so my elbow is not in front of my body, back. And this hand is just inside. I can touch his stomach, I can touch here. I don't really want to have the wrist. I just want to stay inside, all right? And now what I'm doing with my shoulder is I'm controlling his posture. This guy can't bend over onto my shoulder because my shoulder's there. When I have this underhook, he just gets low and puts weight on it. When I'm here, he's in trouble. He can put all the weight he wants down. My arm is the one stuck, all right? Now, the goal is I wanna trace his pec with my shoulder, right, his pec muscle, and I wanna to get to his side, to here, all right? Now, once I grab his hip, there's gonna be a whole bunch of moves we'll do in another video. But we get to here, right? We trace, 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 grab his hip, fence stance. Um, try to do it one time. For someone, if you're a little shorter, it's gonna be easier, right? He's gonna get his underhook inside tie, his shoulder's gonna be right in my sternum, and I'm just gonna trace my pec with his shoulder, get to here. 